I'm Bob Hoffman. East Lansing resident Lynn Aguada loves to sew, right? I love to sew. It's been very zen for me, but I also love helping other people through my sewing. And what she's doing is making a big difference. That's why she's this week's good neighbor. Lynn Aguado says when she's sewing, time stops, and she can forget about everything except what she's working on. Lynn says she was inspired to start sewing a quilt after following a popular quilter on Facebook. I found out about a quilter named Bonnie Hunter, and she does these regular mystery quilts every year. So she releases information about the colors, the pattern, like kind of tidbits about the pattern, but she just releases the instructions once a week. Lynn says when she heard about Bonnie Hunter's Heart of Hope quilt, she knew she wanted to create one herself. The quilt is in the colors of the Ukrainian flag. And Bonnie suggests that once the quilt is complete, those who made one could raffle it off and make donations to a Ukrainian charity. I wanted, I just felt helpless and I wanted to do something that I felt could do some good and um, make, give me a little bit of a sense of control almost, you know, because when you're working with fabrics, it's very tactile and, you know, it's, you can, you know, you have a little bit of control. Lynn says she spent hours every night for weeks to complete the quilt. When it was done, she called Reverend Kristen Strobel with East Lansing's Eastminster Presbyterian Church. And she said, I'm thinking about this quilt. Will the church raffle it? So I took it to my church board and said, what do you think? Can we help support um, this cause? And they were really enthusiastic about a community member coming to us and about the opportunity to continue to raise money. So we've been giving tickets to church members to sell. We've been selling them out of the office and having a really great response. So it just felt like, again, a very tangible way that I could help my community. Um, it gave me something that I could have some little bit of control over. Um, it made me feel very positive in a very difficult time, you know, because I was able to do something that could help in, in the midst of all this, these challenging times. The quilt Lynn created is on display at Eastminster Presbyterian Church through Sunday, October 2nd. Anyone can bid on the quilt by purchasing a $5 ticket. Rather than just feeling helpless, she looked for a way to make a difference, to do something and to, to find a way to say, you know what, I don't have to be helpless. I don't have to get discouraged and wallow in, in despair. You know, instead, she's like, no, I can do something positive. And, and she did, and, and in a beautiful, you know, beautiful way. We absolutely agree and want to say thank you to Lynn Aguado, this week's good neighbor, for using her passion to help others. If you'd like to purchase a raffle ticket to win Lynn's Quilt, you can visit fox47news.com backslash goodneighbors for more information. The winner will be drawn Sunday, October 2nd.